You will never know he's wearing black. Not for him, he has dark suit, but look at the way he combined it. You will never think he has dark suit. Consider. But we have been conditioned. That is what I'm trying to say. I'm saying, do something that will make her exceptional. Do something without the blackness. Look at this girl. If for me, she was the only one in this hall. This one here. As far as I'm concerned, she was the only human being. That, so when I was preaching, I was only looking at the side. I don't go high. Me, I don't go high though. And when I'm in my hall, I'm only looking at high though. Because it's, she's attractive to me. She's appealing to me. She's but when it is, it is uh, white people in a society where majority are white, you don't know what they think. But believe me, I've lived here more than I lived in Africa. One and a half years more than I've lived in Africa. I've lived here. I lived in Africa only for 19 years, and out of those 19, I was a kid for most of it. So I was, I was started thinking maybe at 15 or 16, 16, I'm saying. So I lived in Africa only for four years, consciously. But I've been living here consciously for 31 years. So, so I know the way they think. When they see you are black and you are sick, then you are colorless, they can even hit you with the car and say they didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Tom, make sure that you change the status quo. Do something to yourself. Capia in a way that you cause their head to turn. The fact is that when you go to the store and you find colors like gray, brown, suits, black, dark blue, all those things. You know, when the black, when the white men are making those suits in France or in Italy, black people, I mean, white people, this is a white culture, right? When Europeans are making suits, you think they are thinking about you? No. You think, you think they are thinking, they don't even know you exist. They don't even want to remember you exist. They don't even want to follow them to read. They don't even make I mean, can you imagine white people in, in everywhere, America, working in the factory that when they want to make suit? They are thinking about people who look like them, even ordinary dolls. Dolls. Who doesn't know that black people also have children? Yeah. But all the dolls, they are made like to look like them. Yeah. So, so when they are making black suits, they are not thinking that black people are the ones going to wear it. They are thinking that they are, they are, are white people, because that's what looks like with white people. Because with their skin, they need to break it down, they need to melt it down. So, so to turn it down, they need you know, brown or black or gray. And those are the only things you find in the store. And we black with blind mind. <laughs> we go to the store and pick the same thing and then put it on our own black again. And we go in among them. We go, oh, ghosts don't arrive. Oh. <laughs> ghosts don't arrive. Oh. Because we think that is the normal thing. And we think that is what is proper. Yes. That is what is normal. I complained and promoted by them. But they, are not, they didn't do it for you. If you are supposed to create for your own color, for your own culture, you are supposed to brighten yourself up. I don't know if you are getting the point I'm trying to make. So those people I raised up, they are the ones who got it right. 
But if you go to England, I go to England, and they always collect me in the car. So I'm riding the car. I always weep. Because I see many black people like me, there are so many, especially in London. They are all wearing, if, if you look at all the winter clothes, all the winter, 80% of the winter clothes are all black. And they are all, all these black people, they are going to the, they call it tube over there, metro. All of them are going, I think they are slaves. For me, that's what I think. I just think they are slaves. So, ah, why did one come from? I'm even ashamed they are black like me, because of what they were told them. So if I am feeling like that, do you know why how white people are feeling about you? Now if you live in a continent where everybody is like that, but our continent is more colorful. If you go to Africa, we are colorful people. But when we go to school, they will become Europeanized and we are all the black people and black dark in everything and just condemn yourself. I think you have been put in consecration camp. <laughs> But when I stood behind and looked, it was as if everybody was muted. You couldn't see their, their eyes, you couldn't see their face. Expression. Expression. It looked so monotone and boring. And yeah. I, I was really Nothing. shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. Our <laughs> move of Sunday was saying, in essence, is that you need to study who you are. Who you are. Create your own world. Create your own style. Create your own world. Yeah. Do you know they don't sell this one in the shop? What I'm wearing now, you tell me the shop where you get it. <laughs> yes, yes, nobody yes, is yes. thinking about me. <laughs> nobody is thinking about me. I'm not important. I don't exist, it will not be there, I don't you bother. I'm not even existing. If they want to do the thing, they want to bring for people who will entertain people and make people laugh. But not for me to be respected. Not for me to be respected. Not for me to be honored. So if they are not thinking about you, please think about it. Create your own world. You know, I, I order my own clothes. I design, I choose the color. I get, I get what I want. I make myself. That is not what I'm trying to say. It's the same thing with the shapes. Don't conf confine yourself to the status quo. Don't, what's the word I use? Uh, don't uh, conform yourself to what everybody else is doing. Never you remain there where everybody put you, where the world says you must be. That is the most evil you could do to yourself. Never you put yourself where the world says you should be. Babush, I didn't say you should stand up. That's a good combination. Yeah. Just like the other one. So you see, you see the combination. She's wearing black, but you see the combination of that black with her? With her skin, the black is glorious now because of the top she put on top. You see the difference? And the other girl too. Create your own world. And don't let somebody sub you know, subject you to the, to the general trade, uh, trends. See, I will think back to the shares. I will think back to the shares. But I just wanted to, for, for them to see that what I was telling them in the office, I didn't lose my mind. Did you finish it? Yeah, yeah. What I want to say as well is that you have a very beautiful skin, and the fact that you choose colors to highlight the skin is also a way for you to glorify God and to really highlight what He has given you. It is beautiful. Because the black color is the only color that goes with any color. But for black people, I mean for white people, their color doesn't go with any color. They can only wear black. So if my body can go with any color, why am I wearing black again? Am I sick? Look at her own combination. She has black for see. She looks like an angel from heaven. With wings. Can you see the wings? <laughs> It's a way for you to also appreciate God. That's how I personally see it. I want to highlight my skin because I am proud of what God gave me. Hello everyone, my name is Lola Sharon And I'd just like to summarize everything and end with doing something practical. Um, the coordinators of the meeting, if you have a chance, 
Could you just take the picture right now and uh, take a look at it and see how you can get together to change that picture to look colorful. So this would be, you know, the picture that you're going to compare your growth. Yes, because the most horrible thing is that the teeth, you see the teacher, make you look at the color of the shirt. <laughs> and then come and imagine yourself on top of it. And from your hair, <laughs> that's your hair, not be red though, not be yellow. If you look at the chair and you yourself are conditioned, it's just like concentration camp. Don't worry. That would be my suggestion. If the coordinators could take a picture as it looks now and then talk about how you're going to make it really look alive to show the beauty of what God has given you beautiful skin and the many, many choices. You know, many, no, many no, no, no. No, no. Not just many, many choices and what you, what you wear, but also to be recognized by many, many different people. You become very attractive. Okay, sorry. Sure, thank you. That was a good job. You got that by message. Sir. <laughs> but the point is not that you know you should wear black, but do it in a in a yeah, in a very interesting way. So anyway, but that's not my 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 point. I just use that as an illustration. But and but why did I move those, that shape? Why did I move those shapes? Why did I break the arrangement? Why did I mess up the whole thing? Everything was proper. It was proper. You remember the way you were sitting? Everything was proper. Line up online, line, everything was proper. <laughs> That's what the French people went to, came to Africa to do. They want black people to behave proper. That's why up to today, the most revolutionaries in Africa, the most you know, progressive, are still the English speaking colonies. But they, thank God, you know, they had a queen. So the queen, the queen was really allowed them to do to us what white and what French people did. They program you, think French, dress like that. You know, you, they program you like your own. They condition you to think in a certain way. Condition? Condition? We are true with that. Amen. We are in Christ. We have been redeemed. We have his mind. We have his mind now. We are in charge. We are not worse than anybody. Even here in Ukraine, don't you tell me, I don't speak the language, there's nothing I can do. Change what you don't like in Ukraine. You go to the plane, put order there. You say, oh, but I'm not the leader here, they didn't put me in charge. It doesn't matter. Shine your light anyhow you can shine. But the most important thing is that never you accept that that is the way everybody else said it should be, is the way it must be. Hear your spirit. Get instruction from, your, from the spirit of God that is in you. Let the mind of Christ inform your mind. Get yourself busy. Be creative. But it's not just to be creative for being creative's sake. Why did I mess up the seeds? Is it just to be creative to show you that I'm just not complying? No, no, no. It's good to comply when you agree. Or if it's in line with your goal. But when the seating arrangement or the dressing is not in line with my goal. For example, why should I go and dress like this? Because I have a goal. First of all, I don't want to be conditioned. I don't want to, who told, who brought, who talked about the idea of that suit? I don't even know where he is dead long time ago. I don't even know who did it. You know what the Russians used to tell me? They said, Pastor, mm, only you can dress like this. I don't do that. I said, what happened? They said, but you don't, you never wear a cloth with more than three colors. I said, who said it? <laughs> they said, it is the fashion industry, uh, fashion something, that is the acceptable norm. I said, who make you give me the name? <laughs> so when they come up, they come up with some test books and some quotation. I said, okay, good. So that person who wrote this thing, who told you that he's smarter than me? Mm-hmm. I count myself to be smarter. So I come up with a better thought than he thought. You want to condition me because some fashion outside something? Make you come out from here. 
I have my own brain. And my own brain is the brain of Christ, though. We have the mind of Christ. That one that is homosexual will condition me to be wearing those pants and jeans like this that is hanging here. I I did see. <laughs> I'm not going to wear those jeans. Me, I go wear my own. With the fool like this. I'm not your slave to be conditioned. Well, who, who, why should I be, believe you and I don't believe myself? My own mind wants me to wear something like this and I should condemn my own mind there and go and agree with your own. Your own which, which is without Christ. Your own which is homosexual. They have reduced us to subjects, to biomasses, and to grave masses. Just like the other day, I was doing some photographs <laughs> with my wife. Then they, they went and called the people who color their eyes or who paint them. The makeup artist. Makeup artist. <laughs> After the makeup artist finished, I said, make a go wash that thing. <laughs> But I don't tell my wife like that because I don't I don't have the authority to talk to my wife like that. So I called the I couldn't tell princess like my wife because she's a princess. I couldn't tell her. Yeah. But I went and challenged the lady that printed. I don't do this thing for my wife. So they, they said, oh she's the best thing. I said, come. So after she comes to me, I said, me I used to love, love this woman though. And I married what I like. <laughs> but the one I'm seeing now, thank God you are not around. Thank God you are not around. <laughs> God you are not succeeded in painting and finish before I saw her. <laughs> but the wife should have become my wife. <laughs> because it just messed down, messed up, or put all the your extra something. Because I'm looking at this girl here, come. Because I've seen you before. And this one too, you two girls come. And the other one come, yeah. You two girls yeah, come. <laughs> don't be, don't buy into the, into the fact that, you know, because, what do you call it, makeup? Because everybody is doing makeup and doing it big and large and loud that it is the right thing to do. Who told you it's right? <laughs> what I can tell about your makeup is this, look, come. Very finely done, professionally done. The quality is ah. ah. But do you need it? <laughs> no, you should do. You should do as well. But it could be mine, like this one. Come on, come here. She's older than you. She's older than you. But I can't see any paint or anything, even though she has it. She has it. But I admire what this face that you're on. And you are ten years or so younger than her. Because I'm seeing, I'm not seeing you again. I can see red, I can see yellow, but you not there. You don't disappear. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes. You know, you could not still do it, but why should it be, why should you cover yourself and remove yourself again? Okay. What you have done is that you have just removed yourself so that we don't see you. Then you should just be seeing some color. But I need you. It is you I want to see. Wow, wow. It is you that matters. Anybody can paint anything anyhow, yes, yes. but it is you I want to see. So paint yourself in a way that you will still remain. Like as she is still here, I'm seeing her, and I love her. I want to love her because I'm seeing her expression. I'm seeing her, you no, know, I mean, I mean, uh, I, I facial expressions, I mimic her expression. She is still herself. She's still there. But yeah, you are not there. Even I'm seeing some white, some some the white is something they are done. Uh, black something running there. But apart from that, where, where are you there? <laughs> but the hair is red though. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you you. Even though you, are not, you didn't put all the color, but you have painted yourself. I don't even know. I'm not sure you are the one I'm seeing. You too. It's not as too bad as this one, but they put you on that song. <laughs> They put you on that song. You too. So it's like the cream. I'm seeing cream, not seeing face. But this will make the hair. She could, she is good enough to be a mother. She's good enough to be a mother. But I'm seeing her face. I'm seeing her expression. I'm seeing her eyes. But I can't see your own. I'm seeing something black. I'm seeing some creamy something. 
I mean, I'm, sh I'm afraid of touching you because <laughs> something will remain to come over to me. <laughs> Don't let somebody condition you. Don't let somebody tell you that's the way you're supposed to be. Be yourself. Look at this one here. Come. She said, Oh my God, don't come to me. Why me? Natural. Mm. I think she got me the house. Maybe she has something there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. she, but if maybe she nothing or she has she does. She does. She do, you do, right? Yeah. But she does, but in a in such a mild way that she remains. She remains. She is here still. Mm. She is human being. She is still here. I can see her. But in those days, I can't see them. Mm. They, they are lost. But I see the paintings, but I can't see them. But here I see the person, I see a personality. I don't know, can you people see what I'm saying? Can you get it? She is a human being. She is still here. She didn't get lost. Mm. If you put one of those guys beside her, you will know. They are under the mask. I'm seeing a mask, but I'm seeing a woman here, a human being here. So that's what they did to my wife. Thank you. <laughs> that's what they did to my wife. Oh, they said, well, that's the fashion now. That's the way it's accepted. I said, where well, are you? Is it accepted? Where is it accepted? For you to come and deform my wife in my own house. <laughs> and they are paying you for it. Did they give you money to come and kill her? Are you assassins? You, are, you don't assassinate a beauty TV show. Don't let the culture industry condition you. Don't let the fashion industry condition you. Don't let the culture condition you. Don't let other people, your classmates, and other people be unique. If that thing you are going to do there is going to make you much better and is accepted, but doesn't make you to lose yourself. Like for example, that day she has quality work, very quality work, but it's excessive. She's already so beautiful, but I saw her before. She came to my retreat. So she was more beautiful by herself. And the lip is okay, the lip is okay. But all the other things. Just a sense. Now, I'm not against cosmetic. You understand what I'm saying? But critique things. You know, there is a summit I do every Saturday as well, analytical thinking or the art of thinking. Critique what people propose for you. Even like in the case of my wife, even though she thinks, but because they told her they are not the experts. <laughs> <laughs> so she just submitted to the expert. So even if you go to the barber place or salon or cosmetic place, don't just assume that because they are experts, they know what is better for you. Sometimes they just do uh, automatically what you know, they have been taught to do. They just go through the emotions. But they are not thinking about you. If you are not going to write your own story, other people will write anything about you. Write your own story. Be in charge of your own life. Be in charge of your own faith. Be in charge of your own beauty. Be in charge of your own cosmetics. Be in charge of your own hair. Be in charge of your own dressing. But be, don't just conform to the status quo. Now, finally, why did I mess up the shears? Why did I mess up the shears? Is it just because I don't want to conform? Or because I just want to be a rebel? No. It's because the way it was arranged, like that, it Tells it, it passes a message across which I don't want to pass across. And the message it passes across is that we're in a classroom. You remember the way you were sitting when I came? It looks like a classroom to me, like a classroom setting. I don't want that because many of you don't like t shirts. You don't like doing your t shirts. You don't even like classroom. You only go in there because you want to pay something. You don't like it. I know you don't like it because I was once like you. Yeah. So I don't want to communicate to you and make you feel as if they are getting the classroom, even though you hate Monday. Then you are here on Saturday and then I'm making you feel like a Monday. No, no, no. So we've got to change that. You shouldn't come and sit here and be fat and fine again. Because in the classroom, a lot of things come along, go along the classroom. You know, you are conditioned, you don't respond, you must, you know, link this to the teacher. So the, the person who is before you, you are looking at him as a teacher, as a, as, a, as an authority that did not plant or contribute anything to you. It's just giving you a knowledge. 
I don't want you to receive me like that. I want to become somebody who challenges you, transforms you, changes you, and takes you from one world where you are to another one where you dream to be. I don't just want to be you viewed as a teacher. That's why one of the reasons why I changed that. Second reason why I changed it is that that's what I was trying to ask you. Did, was anybody watching the Asian team? Because it, at the Asian team, there is a guy here who is called Jefferson who mentioned how he listened to one of my messages that is called maybe how to bust my theology or uh, something. What was the name of the one you were listening to? Okay, so you listen to some of my messages on YouTube where I was talking about touching that ministry is not preaching and ministry is not doing miracles or signs and wonders. Ministry is the ability to be able to touch people with God's love. So he started to touch after that. So the way you were sitting down when I came in would not allow me to touch you. Because you are conditioned already. You are just like in a package, you are like a sardine box. But here, you are already touching me, even though I'm not touching any one of you with my hand. But, but making you to be so close to me, we are already touching each other. In my mind, I'm touching you. We are touching each other. By messing up the arrangement, we remove that condition and we put another one that comes close. You accept it. You accept it because we don't have a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. The high priest that we have, he allows us to touch him. So those churches that you see, where the bishops cannot, you cannot go there, the bishop, they are not churches. They are courts. Because they don't reflect the nature of Christ. Anything we do must reflect the person who started this whole thing. So that's why I wanted to create an atmosphere that transmits <laughs> and, and you know that communicates that acceptance, that warmth, that touch of love. So when I now came to the hall, even though I could have been intimidated and say, "Well, I'm not the organizer. I'm, not, I'm just invited guys. I'm just about to speak. No, they won't get it. Oh, it's not for me." And that's what all of us do. Sometimes we know things that are better, but because we are used to status quo, and we don't have the moral courage. So one of the lessons I'm teaching you today is to have moral courage. What is moral courage? The courage to be able to make everything around you line up with your moral requirement inside, with your inside inner requirement. So when, the, when you make conditions around you, to, you have the courage to alter the conditions around you, to compel everything around you to line up with your moral demands, with your heart demands. That is what we call it. You've got moral courage. You're able to shift everything. You have the courage to confront and to make everything to reflect your inner environment and atmosphere. Moral courage is how that man teaches you. You know, I know that the ladies were not happy with me, and I hate to embarrass women, but I got to have the moral courage to help them. It's just like you are a medical doctor, you need to operate on somebody in your surgery, your surgery even though you know it, people don't like surgery. But as a doctor, you've got to have the moral courage to do it, because you know when that lump and that growth is removed, they will thank you for it. So sorry, ladies, if I offend you. Really sorry for that. And for those of you wearing black, if you feel offended, <laughs> sorry for that as well. But again, I must have the moral courage to do what is right. So another reason why I did that is because I believe in raising love personalities instead of biomasses. Biomasses are people who just comply, uh, comply because they live by instinct, they live by reflexes and by stimuli. But I want us to always, but your personalities always raising fruit 
whatever they do, there is a justification for it. So if you come and sit down there, what is the justification? Because you don't even think about it, you don't want to sit like no. instead. So but everything you do, you must always give yourself a reason. There must be an argument behind it. That's what personality is about. So if I'm a personality, if I come here, I must do what I believe, I'm convinced. I must have argument that convinces why I must speak to you when you are sitting like that. But the argument is, it reflects my value. And my value is that touching you with the touch of love is more important than giving a lecture to you. My value is that this is not a classroom. I want to change them to become personality. Let me start with an example. Even though we mess up the whole place, but that is much more important than just telling you any other information you've already been telling. Thank you, Tosnai